Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We had a pretty unsatisfying game uh, as Teractor last game, and look, it's it's there offered again. Um, so maybe we can avoid it, maybe we can play it. Thorgate, though, works well for AI Central, at least, because you have the starting energy. And we just played Teractor, though I, I think Teractor is the better pick. We'll try out a Thorgate. I actually like a lot of these cards. The Molehole Area, the Ice Asteroid, Natural Preserve for the Science, the Restricted Area, it's all really powerful. Um, I think the first thing to do... How much can I get? This is 20... I'm wondering if it's worth starting off with the Molehole Area just to get that passive TR kind of coming in. Like natural preserve onto just some steel, and we will mole hole area with it. And I think we go onto the cards with these, and that way, you know, if all if everything goes wrong, hey, my IO mining. Um, if everything goes wrong, at least we have the heat moving. We're not caught in a weird place. We know that card draw is powerful, but you need income to go with it. Um, Lunar Beam, very good, very good. Man, Tractor would have been great this game. Imported GHG is powerful, but it's not what I need. So I think we Lunar Beam. And you know what? Just because we can, let's get the Archaea Bacteria. That way, our heat is on the move. Did I leave, um... Did I leave Arctic Algae in that starting hand of cards? I'm just thinking back to it now going, wait a second. Is Arctic Algae in there? Am I crazy? Did I leave Arctic Algae on the table? I want all these cards, but that means that we're having a really slow turn. Nine bucks. You know, we can't do anything this turn anyway. Strip Mine, I think, is where we want to end up. At least we have the Heat Bump. Strip Mine's where we want to end up. How do we get to $25? I don't know. It's going to be hard. We're only making 14 a turn. With the TR, but we have minus one, right? So. Yee. Yee. These are fine for energy, but... We don't really need energy in that way right now. I think what's better is the deep well heating. That gets us a heat bump or heat income and this way like as the heat comes up th things will be good things will be good they'll be good i'm just blown away at the idea that i left arctic algae on the table i'm not sure that i did but i feel like i did like i'm just having flashbacks and being like was that there a robotic workforce fantastic i'm not sure how much more heat we need um but it is the science tag i need we could have if it wasn't for that bought your boy um uh, strip mine, but instead we'll robotic workforce and we'll get four more heat production because that is that's a lot of heat. That is so much heat. Is that a lot of heat? It feels like it's a lot of heat. Now we're up to thirty dollars. It's only Gen six. We're gonna get the strip mine. That'll be the income we need. Oh God, maybe not because I want all three of these cards for this, the huge game. Like, again, I'm going, like, card draw, engine, all this weird stuff that, like... Like, it'll... Next turn, we'll have so much money. It'll be fine. Like, at least, like, the heat is popping. We're almost getting three heat bumps a freaking turn. We're gonna get two for every turn. Don't need to worry about heat. Electro Catapult, some science, some satellites. These are all good cards. Um, how many? We do not have space tags yet. Are we going to play space tags? We might. It's fine. It's fine because we have enough for strip mine now. There we go. So that's happening. And then again. Because we have so much heat, we can just rely on that TR to be our income. 24 minus 1 is $23 a turn, but now we have all the metals. 
we have plants coming in too. It's not paying off yet, but it will pay off. Like I'm trying to defend the bad decisions I've made on this run, but at the same time, I feel pretty good about it. Um, hard not to play Peroxide Power and stuff like that. Even Capital is powerful, but I think I have enough cards in my hand that Heather is the only thing I really need. Like, I don't think I need Giant Ice Asteroid, but the two oceans might make it worth it. So we'll take it just in case. Yikes, you know. Um, plus we have AI Central. Oh my god. How are you even going to play those cards? Because first I need Olympus Conference, right? So, I can't play anything yet. I can play... Oh, I could play Electro Catapult. Well, I have to do that. I almost screwed it up by using too much stuff, but we do have a plant, which is fine. I would have loved to not use the plant, but it's fine. And then we'll use... Heather. Next turn, we're going to get all our space tags down range. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to be happy. We're going to get, um, I think after doing a round of space tags, then we're going to get AI Central in round 10, and we'll get five rounds of drawing cards. Equatorial Magnetizer is pretty great for Thorgate, but it's not where we're going with it. Do we have plant tags? Ahoy! No, we don't, so we'll just leave that on the table. Again, Two heat bumps, freaking wild. And we're gonna draw a card with a greenery, apparently. Okay, okay, okay. So, discounts on space tags. We have one space tag now. Then we play this and we get the titanium back and some energy for pretty cheap. Confirm, how many earth tags do I have? Two. That's fine. Then I get some income here. Just a couple. Just three. And I'll get some income here. Oh my god, I still haven't sold my freaking steel yet. Oh my god, I almost missed it. Uh, in that case, we'll restrict it area for a card. And... Then we'll draw a card for two bucks. Now it's a little bit late for IO and stuff. Like I think that this is just not a Jovian run, despite the fact that we have two points for Jovians in our hands. It's just so expensive and we have a lot of terraforming to do, in particular the oceans. But we're buying oceans every round, then maybe Mass Converter would have made those science tags cheaper. We have how many oceans? Five oceans? Six oceans? It's pretty great. Mass Converter's good. Let's spend two bucks on a card. And draw seven bucks for a steal. Yo, that's awesome. We could get Io. It just it doesn't actually help with the Terraform that much, does it? What's the opportunity cost? Oh, we can't do Io anymore. Well, that's fine. I don't think we want it. The water imports from Europa could have been good. Immigrant City is not bad. It has a cheap, uh, cheap solution. Two cards here. Okay, now we're ready to play the Comet. We have just enough money. We're going to do it for these two titaniums and probably these two plants way over here. Uh, I guess I could have done these plants and then tried to grow out of that spot. Uh, two titanium for a heat income? I don't think we need heat income, kids. Especially now that we're back up to seven energy. Oh my god. The heat has been taken care of. We just need greeneries and oceans. Shuttles? Not bad. Not bad. Needs 5%. We can use our energy for a bunch of stuff with this, but I'm not sure that's the right call. I'm only, like, feeling okay because we can sell steel for seven bucks. And we're up to five income, so, like, it helps. Inventors Guild, Invention Contest. 
Yeah, let's do the invention contest. Tundra farming? I mean, oxygen, right? That's what we need. Then we'd like to do an ice asteroid, I believe. It's good discounts, $4 off. I know that we have another discount card in our hand, but we need 5% oxygen to get it, so... Let's not get too carried away ahead of ourselves. We'll greenery into these oceans through here. Oh, we can get another ocean down. And tundra. And two income. How many plant tags is that for us? Because we do have an interesting choice. That's our second. Hmm. It's our second. Can we get another one maybe with business contacts? See, like, this is this is what I mean. Like, these are amazing. Obviously, they're, they're freaking great. But do we have enough money for it? I don't think we do. Um, just... Do we have a single Jovian even played? No. We just have multiplier, multiplier. Still, even this is three points for 30 bucks without a single other Jovian. I mean, we have to do wave power, right? And even this, imported nitrogen. Oh my god. That's what we'll do. I hate it, but it's what we'll do. Uh, and then a little bit more energy. Because it's five bucks and it's a point. And I don't know. I'm flustered because I'm getting so many good offers. We do have shuttles, which will help make those Jovian tags cheaper. We need five oceans, though. Well, there's another one. Space elevator's cheap. Let's get some cards. Let's get some cards. Damos down. Don't need that. Uh, we'll do the crop here. Ice cap. I said crops, but ice caps melting. So we can go here. It gets us up to 5%, which means your boy shuttles. <sighs> and now do we get the IO? And let's be real, we gotta sell our steel first. Alright, this is eight dollars. This is a titanium and five dollars from a steel. We'll have more steel next round. I can use steel on stuff right now, though. Maybe I should just buy ironworks, right? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta lean into winning the game. So let's get ironworks. I didn't realize we had ironworks, to be honest. I would have probably played it sooner. Still get IO. For $35? $6 off? Water imports for $6 off. I gotta stay with the, the safe bet. You can't you can't get so greedy. I mean I could even afford water imports now. Um this gets us so low on energy that we can't do an oxygen bump. Let's get the rest of the heat done. A whole two generations early. Obviously, we... I... It's my bad. I went and got too much of this. How much is out? 35. Oh, my God. I just keep thinking, like, but can I get it? Can I, can I have it? Can I has it? Oh, my God. What do I want to do? Cloud seeding for six plants, I think. Because it'll be two, two, and then bonus phase two more. 
We're going to pass with 10 bucks. We just, we need so many plants, right? And I'm selling both the steels I'm getting already. And we need a couple of oceans. There's an ocean. And Vesta. Oh my god. The points per Jovians almost have to be done now. Ooh, Tropical Resort. No, I'm going in for the, the points per Jovians. I gotta. I gotta. I mean, like, I'm so thirsty for points, boys and girls. I'm just so thirsty for it. Oh my god. And then we gotta bump up this bad boy. Um... Media group. Uh, media group into permafrost. I mean, what does mineral deposit get us? I want IO. I mean, I just I want IO mining industries for one production. Like, this is, that's insane. Why am I clicking that? Um, because I can get two oceans here. And an ocean here. I have enough oceans now. This is insane. This is, this is insane. This is not smart. I don't have enough. <sighs> I don't have enough resources to be making these decisions. Get a bunch of steel. We got money back because event. Eight bucks for you. We get a bunch of TR for that as well. Plants will help. Uh, let's attack the neutral for two of his animals. Get three bucks back because of the event. Uh, and then if we can get our energy back up to above a certain value, then we can do our, our iron mill next turn. We do have livestock. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I've lost this game, and I don't think it's because of IO, but it's probably because of IO. I just spent 35 bucks on it, so if 35 bucks would win us the game, then, you know, that's where it's at. But standard tech in the very last grab. So yeah, probably I lost the game for buying Isle. But like, it was so glorious, right? For a second there, it was so nice. Everybody loved it. Honestly, one of the underrated mistakes of this run is just how much we've pumped the heat over. Like, I wanted it to be going up for reasons that included... Oh my god, now we're getting nukes. That for reasons... What's the best way of getting these oceans out? 30 bucks for two. I wanted to get it up as fast up as fast as possible to get the income from it, but I'm not sure that was the best decision because now we're ending the game with so much extra heat. But I needed that income quickly to, you know, get us the ability to play out half the cards we did. Uh huh. I should have played this a second ago. Well, I guess I can play it here. I was gonna put it in here though and make a nice little pocket. Immigrant City could have gone down for some points, but. Ooh. Standard tech. I'm going to definitely need to buy at least one greenery. You know, understatement of the century, but whatever. And then I'll put a greenery here. And it does, in fact, look as though I can get enough greeneries. I hate it <laughs> because I can I can do it I just I hate it 
Because I have to... Well, let's see. Let's sell cards first. Sell cards just briefly. Just, just the ones that are absolutely trash. So, like... I could... I have two Jovians, right? So, like, this is three, four points. This is points, points, points. I don't want to overthink this. I need to buy two greeneries. I cannot scoop enough greeneries off the board. The open city in particular gives two plants. So, two plants, two plants. It's four plants that are at five. Still need to buy one. We get to seven. It's not uh, enough. And that would be a bad spot for the city as well. I'd rather have it, you know, somewhere else. So let's buy a greenery. For two bucks here. And then I'm going to buy a greenery. For money here. And then... Despite those Jovians looking as hot and sexy as they looked, we're going to buy an Immigrant City right in that pocket for five points. And then all of these cards are pointless. I'm just going to the grave with six dollars off of space tags and water imports and tier four and Ganymede in my hand. And 32 extra heat. Where did it all go wrong? I did get enough for an extra greenery actually, so that's nice. Make another city spot here for the future. And there you go. Done. I hope. I really do hope that you enjoyed this run. It was not a loss. But honestly, it should have been. I only won because of standard tech at the end. We only got 89 points. It looked so sexy, but we just didn't have the incomes. Uh, but either way, we did get some lucky card draw, and it kept us in the game for a measly 89 points. I'll see you next time. Cheers.